Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for another Idiot's Guide to Marathon Training and today is Saturday the 31st and today was my tempo run. I had 7 miles to do today. Calls for 1 mile warm up, 5 miles tempo, 1 mile cool down. I'm really, I'm still running at a slow enough pace that I'm not really doing the warm ups and the slow downs much. Actually, I don't even remember the pace they called for. They called for a, let's see here, I'm totally lost. A 10:31 pace, or sorry, 11:31 pace, what they called for. I ended up turning in in the um, low tens, what I'm running the whole thing in. I went and did six miles of it. I took my dog with me today. We went running and stuff. He was extra needy today, so he was kind of like up against me a lot, trying to trip me and that stuff. Just wanting to be next to me, wanting to touch me, wanting to rub on me, wanting to chew on my hand, all that kind of stuff. So his whole his whole day today was extra needy. He was kind of acting weird all day, so. Other than that, um, got out and the run went pretty good. He was bugging me a little bit. So the last mile, I really wanted to speed up and kind of rock out my last mile. Trying to train my legs, but mostly trying to train my brain to see what it feels like to run fairly fast on a really set of tired legs. So that was my main goal with that. So I dropped him off here at mile six, actually just right before mile six. And took off and did my last mile on my own. It was getting dark, so I had that weird spot where I didn't think it was going to get that dark that quick. And I didn't take my headlamp with me, so I'm out running around the streets here in town. And there's a lot of potholes and stuff, so I had that weird, like, up on my head, constant worrying about tripping and falling in a hole, a pothole, twist my ankle, that kind of thing. So that definitely took a little bit of the fun out of the fast running. And also, I was took off running you know, pretty quick my last mile. I was kind of rocking it out nice and fast in the low eights and stuff, which is pretty quick for me. And then I was about a quarter mile in, I was thinking I was like three quarters of a mile away. And I looked down at the watch and it said I was, it was like 0.23 into my mile. And I thought I was going to throw up my mind just because I was so, I was outrunning my pace the moment. I was able to suck it up, slow it down a little bit, kept everything well below the nines. I think I was in the 8, 26, I think average, something like that. And I even got down in the sixes at one point, sprinting in there, just kind of really rocking it into the end. I kind of let it all hang out there for the last little bit. So I felt really good in the whole run overall. The six miles felt great with the dog. He was kind of annoying me a little bit, but we got along pretty good. And then on the last mile, I really felt good. It felt really nice to be able to run that hard on tired legs. Something I'm really working on doing. It's going to be mostly train my brain. Like I said, my legs are there. I'm ready to run the whole marathon. I can do 20 miles and not really kill myself. So another six miles is not going to matter much. I just don't know how fast I'm going to be able to do it. And it's also one of those things i got to get my mind wrapped around the idea of being able to run fast in. Because that's what I mainly want to do. I'm going to come out slow as I can coming out of the hole. I'm going to start off with probably like, I'm going to try and start off with the six hour pacers, that kind of thing. Super, super slow pace. And then I'm going to start just turn it up every little bit as I go. So I feel a little better, you know, get to mile three, rock it up, mile 10, rock it up and just keep speeding up. And I want to, I want to have a negative splits is my biggest thing. I want to finish my marathon faster than I start it. So my last three miles should be faster than my first three miles. That's my biggest goal. Now, whether that's going to be possible, I don't know, but that's my goal. So I don't care what the times are, as long as my last three, or even my last one is faster than my first one. I'm good with that even. So but I'd like to do my last 5K as fast as my first 5K. I think it'd be kind of a cool little thing to do on my first marathon if I'm able to get my discipline down, my training to where I start off that slow in the beginning and then start picking up my speed all the way through the race. So they say the worst thing you can do is come out too fast at a race and you always do it because your adrenaline's pumping, you're moving way too fast, way too soon, and then you burn out all your energy and then you can't finish the race well. So if I can start off super, super slow, like I said, like six hour pace people, and then I can just start turned up from there, maybe I'll keep my legs underneath me a lot longer in the race and have a much better time. So only real problem right now, I'm gonna have to go see a doctor. It's um, Labor Day weekend, so I'm not gonna see anybody until at least Tuesday. I'm gonna try and call and leave a voicemail to see if I can't get an appointment for Tuesday. I stood up earlier after my um, run, I went and got my shower and stuff. And I stepped on my left foot and just, I literally thought I blacked out like a little bit. I lost a vision. I don't think I lost consciousness, but the pain in my foot was so horrendous. Run didn't bother me a bit, but once I cramped up there about an hour after my shower, my the top bones of my foot are absolutely killing me. I got them stretched back out, massaged them out on a um, frozen water bottle, kind of rolled it back and forth like that. Got it working pretty good. have not taken any pain pills. I'm going to take some tonight, right before I go to bed, and then hopefully I can sleep through the evening. And then we'll see what it feels like in the morning again. So 
definitely um, that, and I still got a little bit of infection left for my knee where I um, got tripped up by the dog. That's kind of been bugging me. And there's just some other little things I want to talk to her about. I'm going to have her cut a couple more toenails off. They're just at an odd angle. I can't really reach to them good myself and get them pulled off. And I don't have any friends that want to pull them off. They're all kind of grossed out by it. So I'll let her pull those off for me as well. So other than that, um, not a lot going on. Just kind of enjoying life. Kind of having a little bit of issue with the dog in the running. Mostly because of the fact I don't trust him to let him off leash yet. Because he was not trained to ever be off leash for the first year of his life. So it's taken me forever to get him retrained into the idea of actually coming back to me and staying right next to me when we run so have a little issue with that but it's like i said it's not been very long with there and then we'll go ahead and get him trained out of this and we'll have a great time so if you have any questions comments concerns feel free to leave them below and i'll be happy to get back to you as soon as i can have yourself a safe and wonderful day lace your shoes up hit the door and get your run